I personally really enjoyed school growing up. Some classes more than others, like most people. <laughs> My name is Brittany Graff. My job title is Global Semiconductor Product Marketing Manager, and I work at Brooks Instrument. Brooks as a whole services many industries, anywhere from biotech to semiconductors to food service industry to solar. There's a really huge, vast amount of career opportunities. For me in particular, my focus is products which help deliver material to build layers on wafers which help make computer chips. We see semiconductors essentially everywhere. If we even think back 20, 30 years ago, people didn't have phones or tablets or TVs or computers in their car, your refrigerator, and there's constant innovation, whether that's smaller, that's better packaging, that's better performance. You know, working in a field like that, that pushes you really to your limit, it's really challenging, but it's also exciting. Our goal here with our mass flow controllers is basically to deliver typically like a gas in a reproducible, accurate way. So when our customers are making whatever they are making, whether that be a computer chip or something else, they need to be able to do that at some large scale and they need to be able to do that in a consistent way. Our mass flow controllers are designed to help them do that. I grew up outside of the Philadelphia area. It's a really nice area to grow up. The weather, there's the four distinct seasons, which as I moved around as an adult, I really missed. It still snows here, which if I'm honest, is not really what I personally enjoy. <laughs> In my undergraduate experience, I actually only ever chose one degree, which was chemistry. I went in undeclared. I knew that I was interested in something in the science field, but wasn't sure what that was going to be, so I took a bunch of different science classes. I studied the electron transport properties of semiconductor nanoparticles and also molecules. For a degree in chemistry, really the opportunities are limitless. You could go and work at a place that does carbon filters. You could be you know, synthesizing the next vaccine. There's so many opportunities for where your interests lie, even within that professional scope of, of chemists. When I initially left grad school, I went and worked at Intel Corporation as a process engineer. That was a very heavily technical role. While I was there, I was also able to lead a team of process engineers. In my current role, I also get to use my technical skill set, but I am acting kind of as a liaison between what the customer's needs are, what our internal needs are, how to best prioritize certain projects or future projects to help the company continue to grow. Here at Brooks, we need this whole great team to make this company really effective. We have a technology development group. That group helps to define the development for new products. There's our systems automation group who helps not only coding our internal systems, but also helps in building our equipment. There's also our clean room, which is where our devices for our flow controllers are built. Then there's the service team, which not only helps service our equipment here, but also provides some training packages as well. What I do is I interface with all of these types of individuals based on the day-to-day -day needs of my product line. Troubleshooting and problem solving to my work is something that's very important. Sometimes that is coming from an individual actually working on a technical change, and sometimes that is the person who stands up and says, this is a problem, we need to resource it. Facing a problem that you've never experienced before keeps the work really interesting because every day there's the potential for something new and exciting to go and solve. Students, when they're thinking about a career path, should really consider what are the classes they look forward to. Looking at what you like and what you don't like really can help define what particular paths they might be more interested in and then not being afraid to step into a career set that you're not really sure if you will 100% love it and learn from it. Take that learning and then, you know, maybe make a move if you find out this isn't exactly what you wanted to do. That's enough from me. It's been great getting to tell you a little bit about myself. What are some questions you have that might be able to help you continue to learn about career opportunities in the field? I look forward to hearing from you and I'll talk to you soon. We'd love to hear your questions. Make sure to submit or upvote to have the presenter answer them.